Hello everybody, this is GamerCat09 and welcome back to Twin Mirror. We are going to be continuing where we left off and last we played, a lot of shit happened. So we ended up going back to our hometown to pay our respects to our dear friend who died and ended up going to a, a f funeral memorial after party thing at a bar and woke up with blood on her shirt and... Now this guy's dead. And oh my goodness! Thank you for the gift sub! Thanks for the gift sub, Agent! Thank you! Um... So yes. So we have went to the scene of the accident. Um... And I guess Anna is gonna stay in the car. Anna came with us. So... Okay, there we go. There's the run button. I was like, which is the run button? Now, how, how far down did this car go? All the way down here, maybe? Yep. Right here. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. Um. By damages, you just mean this one tree? And the ground? <laughs> the bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Okay. Is there anything else around here? I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything that has gone like flying. seems to be letting me go like all the way over here up oh, there's the sign missing okay well there's a piece of wood oh wait no skid marks no skid marks no trace of sudden breaking so he just careened right off the mountain Let's look at that piece of that wood. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. Okay. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. Unless the car was already on fire before it rolled down the hill. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? I don't think it would be that clean. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Okay. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. It's a little unusual for a wreck that was like a complete accident. Okay. What's this? Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. Okay. So this tree fell. Animal footprints. An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Hmm. Okay, so the animal didn't cross the road. Fuel stain. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Ah. Huh. Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. Interesting. So I guess That's I collected all the information all the I need. Time to put everything together. Press R1 to go to the mine palace. Here we go. The main character's voice reminds me of Harry Mason from Silent Hill 1. The report A little bit. Was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And 
drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Okay. Oof. Things don't add up. Nope. I don't believe an animal was involved. Leaking fuel. Nick. I'm going to say Nick was unconscious. Because he went pretty much straight. Ooh, can I walk in the way of the car? Ooh, that's weird. But he would have hit the signs. None. Yep, he just went straight. That's exactly what happened. Fire damaged both the car and the tree heavily. But if he was going so fast, he, that tree would not have stopped him. He would have taken that tree clear off. Yeah, that makes more sense. believe there was an obstacle at all because there were no animal footprints no dead animal at all and there was leaking fuel so that way it would purposely ignite when he drove down the hill and he was unconscious so he had no way of stopping which makes sense yeah so he was unconscious had leaking fuel there was no obstacle he just careened straight down because he also had no seatbelt right How could the signs have burned during the crash then? Wait, the signs burned? The road signs were damaged. Two of them were torn and burnt. Did someone set the car on fire? Leaking fuel? Maybe it was already on fire before it went down. Only one simulation fits the evidence. Yeah. The police report was wrong.
So someone wanted him dead. Oh, that is dirty. Oh, God. What a terrible way to go. I mean, he was unconscious at least, but... Who wanted him dead? The whole time he's just standing in the road, car runs him over. Oh. Hi, Anna. I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick. He was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... What? What? Huh? Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. <gasps> what? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Oh no. Someone broke into your house. Now someone wants Anna dead. Oh boy. <laughs> Nick found something he wasn't supposed to. Someone killed him, and now someone's after his girlfriend. Interesting. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'll just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself as well. Who you are you? Here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. Hope I'm different enough. I'm different. But am I different enough to not fall into old patterns? Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. Who the fuck are you? That's who I would like to know. The last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't... It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Oh, God. Can Joe help, though? Um... Mmm, crazy day. Well, I mean... Uh, this is a real crazy day we're having, huh, Joe? I knew you wouldn't be any help. You always let her walk all over you. Oh, shit. 
Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house, your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. So before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. She is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. Oh, I God, need dude. Your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. <sighs> Fuck! Ah! Oh, shit! Well... Ah! Fine, I'll promise! Ah, oh, I'm gonna regret it. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. Oh, boy. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. Are you sure he's not in there? Or she? Like... Maybe... I need to get in there eventually. Maybe, maybe not? Maybe I should look around the property first. Go in there until police come? So as I say, vehicle tracks could be robber, mud and grass make it hard to tell. Is there anything else around here? Forest trail? I used trail? to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Hmm, little frame rate has dropped a little bit for some reason. Don't know why. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Aww. Gazebo. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. And blankets? Anna and I spent our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations. Paint bucket. Puts a lot of elbow grease into the house. Garden. Planted with, within the last year, doing well, and nicking his green thumb. Book? Anna never got rid of this sign. Um. Well, Mind Palace, we don't know how long we're in, right? So shouldn't we God damn it. I have to I have to I have to go make sure she's okay. Because from my understanding when we go into the mind palace, we're unaware of time. And that's not a good thing. Especially after I just promised Joe that I would protect his daughter. I can't just just go into a mind palace with her in the house wandering around. Potentially somebody dangerous inside. I can't do that. So.
Damn. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Who are you? Are you like my dead twin or something? Is that why it's called Twin Mirror? Anna? Um, Anna, are you, are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. Oh god, all her... Her vinyl records are all over the place. The living room torn apart. What were they looking for? So each year, Greenmount Primary School showcases new talent in an art contest amidst a jungle of creativity. One particular piece caught my eye, a cryptid figure that refused to reveal its true nature to me, unable to pierce the paper, young Timothy Brown had to step to it. It's interactive, he said, pointing at a bump. You have to fold it out, one layer after another. The truth revealed itself. The cryptid slowly gave way to a map of basswood. If you think you've seen it all, take a moment to look at what the new generation has to say. You might be surprised as I was. Dear Miss Miller, my dad says writing thank you letters is what you do when someone is very nice, so I hope you like mine. I would like to thank you very, very much for how you wrote about me. I don't know why you thought my drawing was worth ta talk oh, taking about, or talking rather, about <laughs> over the others, but it was very, very nice of you to talk about it. My, my dad put your article on the fridge and circled my name. I am kind of scared some people might have gone and seen it and been disappointed, but maybe not. If I ever win another art contest, I will tell you sincerely, Timothy Brown. Medical bills. Too high for Joe to cover on his own. Oh, Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Some mind palace? Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. I feel like the Mind Palace is a trick. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. Like, the Mind Palace is a trick to, like, get sucked in and waste time doing things. Is that... Broken picture? Of them. Someone really didn't like Nick. Like, why would they go out of their way? Oh wait, the glass is gone now? Wait, what? Why did they go out of their way to, like, throw a picture frame down on the ground? Oh god, dishes, vases. Why? Fruit all over the floor? Like, really? Um, trying to get you a drink. She's not gonna want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. Coffee? Who 
who's him? Making a drink for Anna would be a good way to show her you're here for her. Okay. Oh. There's a cabinet. Closets. Pantry. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Sam's stuff. Okay, so not in there. Okay. Open? What's down here? Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. Oh, chocolate drink? What is she used to drink this every day in middle school. Brings her back to being ten. And then lime juice? Her go-to soft drink. She actually likes to drink this stuff straight. Could do. Don't stress about what drink you bring her. It's just bringing it that matters. People in film noirs always offer a stiff drink in times like this. Might work. I'm gonna bring her lime juice. On the yes, side, Agent, I have. I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. God, that's creepy how you just show up. Weird. Lime juice. Still something you like? That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. Mm -hmm. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this, like, the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Let her go Did on. Did his murderer break into my house? God, I can't help but being pissed at Nick for being dead. It makes no sense. It's all just a lot. I, I used to feel safe here, and now, sorry. I just, thanks, Sam. It's all right. A lot has happened in the last few hours. Okay, so now can I go to the Mind Palace? <laughs> it's f his hands are levitating off of the table. Remember. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. Uh-oh. It's thinking. I am not your mom, you know. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Oh, wow. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Wow. That's really bad. Oh, I was a little glitchy. Broke pictures and stuff. Why? Fix the mess. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. There. 
should... We have waited for the police to get here, so that way... We could have... Shown them what they did. I don't think she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. Hmm. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. Okay. Can I clean up this stuff? I can inspect it, but I can't clean it. Huts are strewn all over the ground. Finally, there. There's lights. Picture. Taken down after Joe's accident. He wanted it put back. Okay. Can I clean up the kitchen? I feel like I should be able to clean up the kitchen. Was the note? Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. I'm sorry about yesterday. You're right. I have been distant. Things have been pretty messy at work lately. You don't have to forgive me. But if you'd like to invite me to a concert, I'll just leave these two here. P.S. There might be some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. And... Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. Jeez. France. Anna always wanted to visit France. But life is just too strange for me there. <laughs> life is strange. Ha! Ha ha ha! I get you. Ooh, what's that? <sighs> Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? Damn. Weird. Oh, they broke the door. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though, stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. Like, I want to know who the fuck this guy is. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. I'm here for you. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights. Doing what? At the bar or the fishing shack. Come home late, refusing to talk about his work. Mm. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. Ouch! It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. Uh... Yeah, I deserve that. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation, 
your proposal, Ooh. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you, you understand why I said no, right? I didn't listen to you. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone to truly share my life. To make compromises and all that. Hmm. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. He must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this. No matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh, either of course or I'm not leaving you alone. Uh, of, uh, I'm not leaving you alone. You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and, well, we'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. Sweet. Good. All right. Made Anna happy. So let's, um, I guess now we can go upstairs. Because we can't do anything else down here. Door. God, they trashed upstairs too. It looks like Joan's using this room now. Is this Anna must spare have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Uh, her homework? Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <laughs> Obviously kid's desk, but still ransacked. Mr. Unicorn! <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Oh, it's Mr. Unicorny. This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. The mess. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Uh, let me see what we got here. Um... Uh, after I found Dennis murdered, Anna and I called the cops. We tried to cover our tracks as much as possible. I'm not happy about Anna getting mixed up in this, but being honest with her feels like the only right thing to do in this whole mess. Realizing that Nick's death could only have been murder brought me focus and clarity, but for Anna, it was a shock. She barely had time to react, but there's no doubt it hit her hard. I should have known Anna hates nothing more than old-fashioned fake chival chivalry, but I intend to keep that promise. Anna and I had the talk about Nick, about us, about everything that went wrong. I felt better afterwards. I think she did too. We're in this together. Okay. 
Um, Nick's accident report was shoddy. I can't count on the police anymore. Worse, they might think I killed Dennis. I'm not sure dragging Anna into this was smart. I'm still not sure I said the right things to Anna, but I do feel lighter. I think we both do. Somehow it feels like we're in this together. Um, oh, yeah, the, the Mr. Unicorny. Remember the night Joan showed up here when you and Anna were still together? She was looking for you. She said she had a fight with her mom, so she packed Mr. Unicorny and her PJs in a bag. Could she spend the night? Anna took Joan in while you called her mother and let her know she was safe. By the time you hung up the phone, the two of them were baking cookies and laughing in the kitchen. Now Joan is older and her dad had moved in with Anna. You think maybe they still bake cookies? A good detective would note the absence of Joan's more recent personal belongings. Hmm. And then Nick. Nick was investigating something. He always wanted to break a big story, but in the end, did it fizzle out like he, like he said to Walter? Or was he just keeping things to himself? Now that I've been to the site where Nick had his fatal crash, I'm convinced it wasn't an accident. Drunk driving and speeding just doesn't square with his personality. Getting in over his head with an investigation does, unfortunately. Okay. Let's go to the Mind Palace real quick. Maybe. Let's see what happened with this. Hmm. Come on, work, you piece of junk. Oh. I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep doctor. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? Ooh. As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course. When you fix it. Huh. Interesting. Oh god, glitchy. <laughs> the the freaking It takes a while for the house to load in. That's uh interesting. Joe's Jones things have been fully searched. In the bathroom? What the fuck were they looking for? Watch your back. Oh, this for a week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Twin toothbrushes. Nick was very moved in. Why is it so dark in here? Uh-oh. Why'd the music stop? Search cupboard. Anna's stuff is still here. Bed. It's not even the same one. Everything this changes. so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. The laptop. Wait, before I look at the laptop, anything else? Man, there's not even a TV in this bedroom. I guess Anna must have left it on, but she had her laptop with her. So this is, is this Nick's? Nick's? Yeah. What was transferred? Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Uh-oh.
Uh oh, someone behind you. Ah. Who was that? Sam. Sam. Who was that? Sam. Are you okay? I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Hmm. Find Nick's backup files? We need Nick's backups. If he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't I don't think so. I I don't actually over the last mm. few months. Remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. Yeah. One. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. He said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Hmm. Interesting. Your father called, said there'd been a break-in. Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry, I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. Oh boy. Oh, you think it's better than Life is Strange? I really, really like Life is Strange, but this is good too. Hopefully I'm right and he was using the fishing Nick's shack fishing or something. Shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Okay. There's a bike. Joan rides this bike everywhere. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. But what's it doing here? Was Joan the one that took stuff? I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. The Mine Palace. Fishing, huh? Okay. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. <laughs> oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. Oh, you know, burn. I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, those are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a uh, bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No, I'd be an accomplice then. <laughs> don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Wow. <laughs> Jones like me. I used to play with, uh, 
night crawlers and stuff. Wow, the, the glitching in this is pretty bad. I feel like it wasn't this bad the other day. I wonder if, like, some update happened. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Why? Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. What? Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. Oh. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Oh, no. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Uh. Is everything okay at home? Is there something wrong with your mom? No. I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do anything. Just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. <sighs> There's nothing for me here. Uh, don't make the mistake I made. Leaving is going to hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I, it's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time and then she's too out of it and never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. Don't. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. Trust me, I'm investigating. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah. They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In 10 years? <sighs> Could be a journalist? Something with insects? Oh, shit. Um. <sighs> There's no right answer. I feel like... I, I guess insects, because she's really with it. You like insects? How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs... You remember? Yeah, bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. Look, I'm gonna find out what really happened to him, okay? And you and I, 
We'll figure this out. About what's next for you, about Please don't go. your mom, wife. I need you to trust me. I need you to give me some more time. A few days. You have a few days. Do you want me to drive you back home? No, it's fine. I need to take my bike back anyway. I'll see you later. All right? I promise. For real this time. I'm gonna hold you to that. Oh boy. Oh god. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town. God damn. Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. I was scared because I was like... I know she likes insects, but the way, the context that that read to say you like insects was kind of like, maybe she wouldn't have liked it, but. Nick's computer is the reason Anna's house was broken into and my head was clonked. The attacker took off with Nick's file, so the question remains, what did Nick discover and how did it get him killed? Um... When I went to Nick's old fishing shack to investigate, I found Joan there, packing her stuff to run away from home. I managed to talk her down, but it feels like a fragile victory. I need to do right by her. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. <laughs> All the toys. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Aww. The growth chart. Man, Bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. She's gotten pretty mature now. Hmm. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? Oh, wait. Is he hunting? He's hunting with... Are those the guys who, who were, like, trying to beat us up? Empty slot. There used to be a calendar right here. Why do you take it down? I don't know. Graduation picture, and she was Kathy Back was when pregnant. Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly, Bug was there too. Drawings. Joan always liked bugs. Hmm. Okay. Hunting trophy. Not something Nick would have done back then. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Hmm, interesting. Locker? Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Search? Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. Uh, tableware cleaned in the last few weeks. Nick came here recently. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Okay. Oh, behind here maybe? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> what a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your clichés. Come on. Open the locker. Weapons. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns. But never at home and always locked up. Okay. There's a note there. There's a calendar here. Drugs. Wait, drugs? A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? Oh. These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Uh oh. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Oh no. 
What's the note? Remember. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? Caterpillar. So yellow up, blue left, green down, red right. Hmm. Can't flip it. Calendar. Has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. What does it say? D wants to meet on April 2nd. Okay. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. Yep. There's a box there. Journal article. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Okay. One small community looks out for those that fall through the cracks by Anna Miller. I'm interviewing Tyler, a man of few words in his mid-twenties and heavily tattooed about the place he lives and why he's here. It's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket. His hands, however, are not shaking because of the cold. This is his seventh relapse. On his second relapse, he lost his girlfriend. On the fourth, his family. The one after that, he attempted to rob his parents' home, but was instead beaten nearly to death by his father. It's not like I wanted to hurt them. I just needed money. And I felt so bad that I thought I was dying. My parents' place was the only place I knew for sure there was some crap I could sell. Dad caught me. I tried to talk to him, but he whooped my ass. Beat me with a lamp. I don't blame him. I didn't fight back. I was too ashamed. I needed a whooping. I still need a whooping. Lynette Branham, 52 with graying hair, looks on with compassionate eyes. Lynette is the one who owns the land and sets the rules. She's judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to deciding who stays and who goes. This place is called The Cove. When the local mine closed, a lot of people found themselves out of work and some of them had no place to go. Drugs and crimes made them fall into the patterns desperate people often fall into, and Lynette found some of them camping out on her property. She let them stay as long as they could follow two rules, no stealing and no fighting. Though she's had to kick a lot of people out over the years, she's not always per it's not always permanent. In fact, she just let one of them back in. He does not want to be named, but he has a lot in common with Tyler. A bad relationship with his family, a, c a mother with her own drug abuse issues, and a history of violent offenses. This young man explained to me why he came back. I can't make it out there. I can't make it out there. Everyone's hassling me, and I'm just trying not to hassle myself. He has trouble staying still and looks ready to keel over at any moment. Yet he's also got a depth. Yeah, he's also got a depth to him that's striking. Was sober for half a year once. Can't remember the first time I drank. Broke into Ma's liquor cabinet when I was five. Some people see this place and imagine the same old story of hillbillies in the mountains. Yet that isn't what this place is. This is a community. They're all drifters lost in the flow of life. With nowhere else to go and a desire to be better. Lynette shakes her head as he finishes up. She'll let me stay, he says. I ask him how he knows. She have me come over and told me to get out right then. He answers, it's true. Lynette lets him stay as long as he promises to try again. She has a lot of patience. You have to, she tells me after the young man goes to lie down. Everyone has their own way of dealing with pain. The path to mistakes comes in lots of forms. Some of them pretty invisible, unless you look for it. We all stumble sometimes. Most people take a few tries to get back up before, after being knocked down. If someone isn't there to help them, they just fall back over. The cove gives me hope. Hmm. All right. I think I went through everything here. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I did. The weapons and 
stuff. So, 